Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> We've got a special guest. I told you yesterday that uh, Wes is getting ready to leave us and go to California, so we're going to talk to him before he goes. Well, hello, Mr. Wes. How are you doing? Hello, Jim. I'm doing good this morning. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's been a great joy to have you here, dude. And I've totally enjoyed it. It's awesome meeting you guys. Did a lot of work together, all of us, and found some ideas off of each other. It was wonderful. Had a it, wonderful time. it was. And uh, now the little box is done on the back that's going to hold the air conditioner and extra fuel. And propane tanks. And propane tanks, yeah. yeah. And that's uh, this little box right back there on the back. I'll show that to you in a second. The top of the of the bus got painted with the Tropicool, and you made a marvelous deck up there, okay. and put on all the solar panels. Yep, got pretty much the whole top of his bus done now. I think, other than him putting some roof ends up in there, but other than that, made a lot of headway in this past three weeks. Really did. I believe uh, Wes is going to come back if if it works out right. Yeah. And he will so. be putting uh, under base storage, like from here to there, and uh, probably on on both sides. Yeah, it'll be it'll be through storage, kind of like through you have storage, on your bus. like yeah. on mine. Yeah. Okay. So there'll be probably two doors on this side and two on the other, and just have through storage, fish that's, poles and all kinds of good stuff will fit in there. It yeah. is. It's a blessing to have it. It really is. Yeah. So, um, his bus is going to be very unique and very cool, and I love your bus. Thank you. You did such a great job you on your bus. Gun inside his bus. I, oh, it's not with the camera. I, probably, can we uh, take a couple shots in a minute inside your bus? Yes, you can warm up to. It's kind of torn down and road, you know, getting road road worthy. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to go walking through it. That'd be great. And I love this little deck back here. We showed this on a previous video, but yeah. it just worked out really nicely and uh, holds a motorcycle real well. I it put does. my bicycle up here as well. I actually just had it inside, so I just left it in there for now. It's on my bed. Yeah. <laughs> so awesome. It'll ride a little better. Awesome. Well, do you want to go show us inside your... Sure. Let's go on in. You can tell us how unique it is. All right. Okay, here's something that I like. Um, the bed coating is what he put on his steps. And it uh, makes it really easy to wash out and keep clean. And um, go ahead. Talk to me, Mr. West. Tell me how awesome your bus is. <laughs> well, this is my bus. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's been about a two-year project. I'm about 85-90% done with it probably. Still got a couple little cabinetry type items to finish up. But for the most part it's done. It's livable. I've been off-grid in it for about 10 months now. And uh, yeah, just enjoying traveling around, living in it. Uh, not having to worry about electricity. It's great. It is. And I'm going to point out a couple things. Wes is a great craftsman and if you've never worked with barn wood, it's difficult. You have to be much more careful because there's no sanding to be done. Yeah. You you can't sand, you ruin the whole look. So it's just a very, very, very wonderful look that he got here. Even his uh, little window seats are made out of, actually what he used was cedar fencing. Yeah, but it's all cedar it's, fencing. It's basically the same as barn wood. Uh -huh. And then he put a live edge, which I really like this, on his countertops. So you can see the pattern of the bark. A few little insect holes there. Isn't that great? These cost extra. Cats. That's right. They sure do. <laughs> Nowadays they totally do. <laughs> live edge is something else. It's really nice stuff. Yeah, this stuff is uh, sat up in my uh, friend's barn attic for about 25 years, just in raw form. He actually. Uh, mill it out and it's air dried black walnut so this was the first use of this stuff absolutely and the neat thing about black walnut that a lot of people don't understand is it's not just black black walnut almost always has white or light streaks in it mm -hmm. it's it's a great product and a very nice tight grain on black yeah, walnut it's a really nice wood it really is <clears throat> and then I love this also because they're a little bit rusty looking. Yeah. I, they just fit in so perfect. Did you lay them out? What do you mean lay it out? To, to get, to get them to rust or? Um, no, or actually, rust? so we've got a, a scrap yard, a metal scrap yard in my hometown, uh, Bogue Iron. And uh -huh. basically, I just, you can walk through there and just buy junk metal at cost, you know? 
So uh, that's what I did. And these, they had a whole bunch of this stuff. I'm not sure what it was, but there was just sheets of it stacked about probably three foot tall. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so I just bought a couple, you know, a few sheets of it and cut it out dimensionally to fit all my cabinet doors. So the whole so, idea of my bus was I wanted to create a nice open feel everywhere. And in doing that, to be able to see through, you can still have that open feel, but it's closed in and keeps yeah. it nice and tidy looking as well. And that, that's another reason I don't have any partition walls anywhere in my bus. So you can see from the front all the way to the back. And I wanted to point out that uh, this here is somebody who uh, gave him a bad comment. That's right. Don't. Well, no. That's what happens to my trolls, guys. <laughs> that's the trolls right there. Actually, I've And this is his dog. I should have been very fortunate. I always had really nice comments. So uh, us thankful. too. Yeah. We just have wonderful people. Yeah, very thankful. Comment. And I love uh, the use of the metal up here. Uh, this is old barn roofing metal. Uh-huh. But... Um, old barn tin? Yes. And, and he... He has a great little wood stove here yep. that he kind of restored himself. Then the barn metal just looks really, really great. And his skylight opens, which is very unique. Kind of uh, cool. It's, um, it's really nice. It, it really lets out the heat. You know, the heat starts building up in here. You can right. just open it up and it just lets it out. I'm sure that probably let a lot of light in on your camera there. But, but you still feel that breeze that just came in. Oh, yeah. I, I like that. That is very, very cool. Very nice. Did you cut this uh, scarab design out yourself, or? Yeah, I've got a friend with a plasma cutter. Actually, my friend Billy that we met. Uh, oh yeah, at the treadmill that you're going to see today. Yeah. Actually, so we designed those and cut them out. Uh, just a nice little design element in here. I, my logo is a scarab beetle, so. Yeah. I like those little lockers. Really like and okay. these, yeah, these are little lockers, like from high school lockers. Yeah, those are gym locker doors. Gym locker doors, uh -huh. isn't that cool? There'll be more in the back when I finish my cabinet. My little storage wall there along that wall, I'll have a whole bunch of those doors as well. He also has the live edge on a walnut for this countertop. Let's see if I can turn these lights on. It might help just a little bit, maybe not much, but. And his lighting is LED strip lights. You can see that and it really kind of gives an indirect lighting in here that is that's once, very nice. Yeah, once I get those done, that, that two by four will be covered up with this cedar and it'll overhang that about yay far so it'll just cover the bulb so you'll just... Right. Yeah, I just got to get that part finished up. LEDs are so wonderful. Yeah, really they great are so for wonderful. solar. Just don't nice power. sized little refrigerator here. Yeah, that's a 12 or 24 volt um, made by Eco Solar Cool, and it, it just runs strictly off my solar unit. And the inside's pretty roomy. Oh Ooh, yeah, freezer, all full of drawers and whatnot. But that is awesome. That's pretty nice. Keeps things nice and cold. Oh wait, I've got one more thing I've got to show. The toolbox. Okay. This toolbox right here. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Amazing. Now here's the bed, but if you look. Wes cut in his toolbox right under his bed, so it is so cool. Yeah, so I've got all pretty pretty much. Come on, Maisie, come on through, girl. Got pretty much every tool that I've built this bus with is in my in or on my bus under on the understory. When you're on the road, you're gonna break down. You have to have tools. I like your shower. <laughs> and this is something that is amazing. And this is his didgeridoo. <laughs> and he builds these. He is a, I would call him a master builder of didgeridoos. <laughs> and look how creative. I love the little mosaic. Isn't it great for the shower? It's just so cute. Yours, we is, love it. yours is bigger than that one. It is bigger, yes, I have to say. <laughs> And then he has a nature's head composting toilet, which yeah. these are wonderful. A lot of storage. You just have a lot of store, little storage cubbies. And, mm -hmm. and my instant hot water heater is just directly behind there. You see it, but it's back just on the back side of the shower wall there. Awesome. And then these are my closets. Basically, I just made it really simple on myself. I was going to do built in drawers and stuff, but I just got some storage deals. Oh, I think that's an awesome idea. Just made it simple. So I just fold up all of my laundry. It's amazing how much space laundry takes up when it's takes not full. Yeah, when you're hanging. Yes. So if you just fold it, it works out really well. 
this opens up onto his deck right here. This is his there back the door. Motorcycle is, yeah. And you can see his little motorcycle and his deck. What a unique bus. And I just love the old Barnwood. It has so much character. <laughs> I think there must be an obsession here. <laughs> So what we do when I display this at different jamborees, if somebody picks that, if somebody sees that, uh -huh. I'll give them a sticker. I don't say anything. I'm just if they just point it out, I'll be like, "You deserve a sticker because it's really <laughs> hidden." It is very <laughs> hidden. So it becomes that a is, little inner game, I guess. That is pretty cool. Now, what do I have to do to get a sticker? Oh, I'll, I'll give you all the stickers you want. Because <laughs> <laughs> we need to start a collection of stickers of our favorite people on our bus. Most definitely. Find a nice spot to put them. Well, I'm really proud of it, Wes, and Thank you. mainly of you. You're just a, you're an <laughs> awesome man. So are you, Jim. And uh, really, you, really enjoyed you being here. And we're going to see a lot of each other over the next few years. And, good adventures for sure. and hopefully we'll see you back here um, if things work out. Yeah, I think probably in about a month and a half, uh, um, I'll be coming back from California and I'll definitely swing back by and see if Chris is ready. And, uh... and one more thing we have to mention, the... Fantastic fan. Fantastic fans. They work pretty good. They, I like them. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> so thanks so much, Wes. Yep, thank you. I appreciate you. Wonderful being here. Okay. Wes has a, a lot of plants in front of his bus, which I really like. It's really nice. And then two more things that I'm I'm going to stay in touch with him on is I love the LED lights. Uh, they are wonderful and and last a long time and then this right here you won't believe how bright this is it lights up three or four hundred well probably a hundred yards down there Easy. it just lights it up so bright it turns night into day it so, really does yeah. so we're going to go harvest an aloe vera plant yep, i got an empty pot for an aloe vera to put on my dash that jim's got growing here so oh. we're going to go get one well, let's do that <laughs> Boy, that's hard. Get a shovel here. Yeah. <laughs> Should I put, uh, I guess they're doing good in the soil you've got in that pot, right? Uh, yeah, it's just potting soil is what I put in there. Uh, they just got transplanted about, what, three weeks ago? Yeah, we before I came here. Mm -hmm. When the kids were here, when the girls were here to help us get ready for the garage sale. Yeah, and that's what you have. You have mainly potting soil in yeah, that. some pretty good potting soil, but I'm probably just going to dump some of that out and mix in some of yours so it'll grow in the stuff it's kind of used to growing into. Any one of these? Just any one you want. I kind of like this medium, medium-sized guy right here. I think. Oh yeah, your soil's nice in there. Got some nice little roots going. It, it doesn't like this hot weather. What does it? That aloe vera doesn't like it that much heat. Super well, not the direct sun. It the doesn't seem sun, like. Yeah. I think they raise them in direct sun, but I don't know why they turn really dark when I get them in the sun like that. Let's start turning this brownish color. Uh -huh. mm. I can see down at the bottom, though, it's coming back out green. Yeah. Yep, it is. Well, I've had them over, since I put them out in the shade. Yeah. There's water right around here corner, too. You can put a little water in there. Is your are your water tanks full? Um, yeah, I've got uh, I filled uh, one up yesterday. And oh, okay. I, I pretty much okay. just run with one full, and then okay. if, I, if I know I'm going somewhere, I'll fill them both up. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that you've got them filled before you left. Yeah. Thank you so much. Here, let's throw in some of this little feedage. It'll be a good reminder of the land here. Oh, brother. <laughs> well, then throw in one of these big rocks. Yeah. That's what's around here is rocks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it looks good. There looks go. good, yeah, looks good. absolutely. I live on my dash for a while. Okay. <laughs> for a long time, I hope. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs>